Now this is a slightly different start to the day to what I was expecting. My plan for today was going to involve taking that MGF there, cleaning it and getting the paint looking as nice as possible, ready for pictures, ready for sale, so that Bolty and I and this other chap can make a small profit, a wage if you like. But then of course something happened, yes, the window has stopped working and today my first job is to find out why that is. Checking fuses, both fuses for the windows, fine, but fuse number six is for the heater blower and that as we can see has blown. Well I'm bound to have a 10 amp fuse over here somewhere aren't I? Hmm? It's like a big box of sweets. Yes, that was all it was. The first step is to give Fanny a wash. And I've done that. And the thing is, the paint's not that bad. It has been waxed, it's been, it's been buffed. And certainly, you can probably see it doesn't look dreadful but it does have quite a few patchy areas like this a few minor scratches look when we get close up you can see better can't you yeah we want this to gleam around the badge there ah it's showing up now isn't it there we go that's what we're looking at that's the kind of thing that we want to get rid of today so we can stand back and go Ooh. This will come up much better. Can we see that rough patch there? Yep. Yeah. Can we see that rough patch there? Can you see it? Just there. It's not dreadful. Around the bonnet, it's quite swirly. It's quite swirly where it's been tampered with. And there's another scratch there. Let's deal with that. It doesn't look like it, but this is an all day of a job job because, you know, the car's got to be done over completely as well as quite a few scrut, 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 you know what I'm talking about, scratches, scratch removals. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on with it. Ten minutes. Actually, I can see the rough bits of paint even from here, especially if I do that. I apologise for all the Fanny references, but that's its name. The car is called Fanny. Boaty named this car Fanny. And do you know what? It's not because he wanted some sort of reaction out of it. It was actually. But it's up to you to realise that Fanny is just a name. It's a lady's name. And this is a lady's car. Or at least it's a lady of a car. And not a uh, minge. Now look, that is what I would call a swirly boot. That's the first place I'm going to go for. And this boot spoiler as well. I'm not going to record the whole process because you'll get bored and I'll get bored and it'll distract me. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my phone device, whatever you want to call it, down right now and come back in an hour. So I'm going to come back at 12 o'clock. The 3M alone, not really quite enough, just rubbing to get rid of all these swells. So I went straight to the 2500 grit paper and then did the 3M stuff again. Then the swell remover and then wax it all off. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it's a lot, lot better. And that's half an hour. I want to complete this in a day. So, what's about the rest of it? What's about a cup of tea? What's about the rest of it? It's quite swirly, and it does have a couple of scratches here that I know won't polish out. That scratch there. Hello, mate. Oh, this one might just buff out, I'm not sure. This patch here, and that there. I'm going to try the sandpaper on and the same for all this bit here it's not terrible but it's it is quite swirly and rough isn't it let's be honest yes 
Honesty is the key to getting rid of scratches. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I said that. A car of this age is always, always going to have multiple scratches. And the closer you look, the more you find. So, it's a matter of um, prioritising. Ah, look at that. That's a bit better, isn't it? Bonnet scratches, gone. How about that, eh? Still need to remove a bit of this wax off of there, though. Excellent. Isn't that brilliant? I think so. Two o'clock, and um, getting too hot. But so far, what I have done, done that. It's getting a bit dusty again now. It's a case of constantly putting water on. I uh, got rid of a couple of scratches on there. I've done this wing. Oddly enough, I haven't done this door yet. But this rear quarter, that looks rather good. And the boot lid, quite happy with that. Except for, there's a bit of etching there. A bit of etching off of some bird poo, I guess. But other than that, it's, uh, it's popping! This couple of bits like that, that, you know, they, they come up more through polishing and that door and that bit as well, of course, and then the A pillar and the, the roof line. So I'm going to do the bumpers and then put some hour troll on the black bits. And then, uh, Maybe I'll finish for the day. I need to go and take some pictures of it. Somewhere nice, somewhere scenic. This is coming up fantastically. Finally, justification in wearing some sunglasses. Oh yes. Oh, I'll tell you what. This is the reason. This is the reason sunglasses were invented. Probably for people in America that have sun all year round in California or wherever it is they happen to live and they drive open top cars because they like the sun. That's what it's for. There's no hiding from the sun. This is fantastic! Just finished cleaning and detailing and removing scratches and now the F looks fantastic. It is time for its photo shoot over in Blackstone Edge. I would have waited till tomorrow, but it'd be coming just again then, so it'd be pointless. Cow van!
Oh dear, yes. I seem to have found myself rather attached to this little car already. I said in one of the other videos, why haven't I got one of these? And I'm thinking it more and more. I drive it. I, I drove it from home to here, so it's only two and a half, three miles, something like that. I thought I might as well have the roof down. And all the way, I was just so glad I did. It's considered that we don't have great summers here in the UK. But what? But the thing is, when we do have summer, we make the most of it. And having a car like this is making the most of it. And I've got to say, I want this car more than any other car I've ever had at the moment. I'm jealous of the person who buys it. Mm. Could I? Could I? Could I let Toby Charles go?